And we have all predetermined who is doing what. Who goes first this week, Steph? JC. All right. Are you all set? 30 uh, seconds on the clock? Yeah, yeah, kind of. It was, it was a stretch this morning. I was trying to think of something. And so I got something from my childhood that I don't think I've told before. So let me stop this bed and start this one right here. Um, as a kid, my neighbor, Mrs. Ribney, once called the cops and reported myself and her son, Scott, as missing to the police. To the point where the police came looking for us. It was, uh, it was like in the 80s. We're riding home from school. And at this time, there were some rumblings of, of, of potential kidnappings going on in the area. It was, was kind of chaotic time. We're riding home from school. My buddy Scott and I decided to go play in the woods. So we drop our bikes. We go playing in the woods. And we'll go play in another field after that. Long story short, we're playing for like 45 minutes. Mrs. Ribney drives by, sees our bikes lying there on the side of the street. Panicked, called the cops, reported us as missing. The cops came looking for us. Of course, we were safe. Wow. That's, I mean, it's kind of a stretch, but I mean, I can kind of see that happening. It's been going on in the neighborhood. I just feel like this is a story we would have heard before. JC reported as a missing child. Well, here's the thing, though. <laughs> and I, I was texting my mom, but she didn't respond because, the, as, as I recall the story, my mom called, uh, Mrs. Rimney called my mom in a panic. Uh-huh. And my mom's like, Judy, calm down. They're probably just out there playing somewhere. And Judy's calling other friends and no one has seen us. My mom's like, they're probably just playing in a field or something. Let's not panic. Mrs. Rimney panicked, and she's the one that called the cops. And Why is she sticking her nose where it doesn't belong? Yeah. <laughs> Your mom's like, it's fine. Don't it's worry. Fine. She's like, oh, I'm panicky. Oh. Also before cell phones and stuff, so I can kind of see this happening. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. We go walking back up. We see we see our bikes and the cops there. And we and Scott's mom is there. And you know, I remember, I remember this. I remember her going, Scott Charles Ribney, where have you been? And I'm like, oh. <laughs> the full name came out. Yep. <laughs> That's a sure sign. Mom is mad. What do you guys think? Is JC lying or is he telling the truth? You. You be the judge. Uh, now we move over to Steph. Are you all set, Steph? I'm all ready. Okay. The clock starts now. Yesterday, Mercedes, you were talking about how you were injured by clothing. And uh, you said your sports bra, you was too tight on you, it was too small, and you couldn't breathe. Well, when you were talking about that, it reminded me of when I was a kid. I had these black bell bottoms. Not very good call either. Kind of on the cheaper end, but I wore them all the time. The zipper on it had this little cute little circle ring on it, and it would snag my skin all the time but I'd go through it because I love them so much well the one day I snag it up it hurt and I started bleeding and I cut myself oh. from these bell bottoms the, the getting your skin stuck in a zipper oh. Oh. it's the worst it is. I, I literally just cringed when you said that I hope that is a lie I really do because that is brutal you bled yeah. I did a little bit just a little like a pew, and it was right above the, the pelvic bone, I should say. That's yeah. where, that's what, you know, that's where you're happy that they're black pants yes. instead. Um, <laughs> Very true. Something that would show blood on them. And oh. when was this? This was when I was a kid. I would say like sixth grade around that time. Cool. Sixth grade? Yeah. Bell bottoms were not cool. Oh, yeah, they during were. During that time. Oh, yes, they were. Mm. Who unhooked you? You unzipped yourself? No, it, they came off. Like, you I, unzipped? Yeah, I unzipped. And Mom's like, all right, it's time to finally retire the pants. <laughs> 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 They're done for. All right, is Steph telling the truth? Is she a liar? Did she not get her skin stuck in her zipper out? Um, that is to be determined. Let us know what you guys think. You can call or text us at 702-364-9400 or comment on our live stream. That leaves me i am the last one are you uh, guys ready yeah you start now okay a man threw a cigarette down my pants okay yeah <laughs> end of story a man threw a cigarette down my pants how yeah. does he get a cigarette down your pants I who was know. this man i don't know that it was on purpose as a matter of fact i don't think it was but we were in europe when i was a child i was like 10 years old and we're sitting at some cafe out just on, on the street and there's a man at the table behind us talking with a cigarette and he's using his hands he's like blah, blah, blah. and it went <laughs> flying out of his hand and i was sitting there with my white pants and there's like a little gap in the back of my pants and it went Poof! and all of a sudden I'm like ah I'm burning and then I pull it out and then he comes in and speaks to us in uh German and was, he, I think he apologized and he took it and he threw it away and then he took the cigarette from you and threw it away yes yes and my dad was so mad but the guy took it and said sorry so at you, least I think it was sorry I didn't understand him do you have any scar burns from the cigarette I don't I've never looked. It's kind of hard for me to look in that spot. <laughs> Matt, and Matt, you got to report back to us if there's a scar. Hot pants. My gosh. Oh, my gosh. I just remember sitting there. Everything's great. And I'm like, I, and all of a sudden it hurt. I thought I got stung by a bee or something. And it was a cigarette down my pants. <laughs> oh my God. What are the odds, too? I'm just, you know, the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Flick. Just everyone's talking with their hands. Uh -huh. Like, whoa. Well, 
up. Well, yeah, and it landed perfectly <laughs> in my butt crack. I envisioned it like sticking out, like like just like the cigarette like sticking out. Yeah, no, it, it would hurt. So there you go. There's my story. Who is the telling the truth and who is lying? 702 702- 364-9400. Frank says Steph is lying. She said she had cheap bell bottoms. Then she said it happened around sixth grade. She didn't pay for them. Oh, he's really digging. <laughs> like, how do you know they were cheap? You're in sixth grade. The Why? quality <laughs> was cheap. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> the quality. Uh, Jan says JC told the story before, not the liar. Joyce says... I think Steph is lying. Isn't that a scene from There's Something About Mary? <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yes, but it's with Ben movie. Stiller's character. Wouldn't, oh, it great it, wouldn't it great if you all had stories from Something About Mary? <laughs> and I thought it was hair gel. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this one says on the text line, these all seem like lies this week. Um, this one says, JC, stop lying. All right, let's do the big reveal. Who is telling 